Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. It's been a while since my last macaroon video. So today I am back with a brand new flavor for you guys. I'll be making for you my triple lemon macarons and these are so, so delicious. They have so much incredible lemon flavor and they're perfect for spring and summer. I'm going to make these with a lemon flavored macaron shell. I'm going to be using my lemon buttercream and my homemade lemon curd as a filling. I have separate video recipes for the buttercream and for the lemon curd. I'm going to link them down in the video description box below. Meanwhile, well, let's get started on these incredible lemon cookies. And I absolutely love making macarons. When I first started baking them, I just could not get them right at all. The batter was either too thin or they just didn't turn out for me. But once you get it down, they're just so fun and so easy to make. Now they're one of my favorite things to bake. So into my mixing bowl, I'm going to add in 100 grams of egg whites. It's about three egg whites. I do recommend using a kitchen scale for this recipe. It's one of the few recipes where I'm like, you have to use it because the accuracy of the ingredients really makes a difference. So 100 grams of egg whites going into my mixer bowl and I'm also going to add in 50 grams of white granulated sugar which is a quarter cup and I'm going to whisk my egg whites on high speed just until stiff peaks form so it takes about three to four minutes depending on your mixer and stiff peak stage means that the egg whites hold their shape really well. You could take some out with your whisk attachment and it should not fall off of the whisk. It should hold its shape really nicely, but you don't wanna over mix the egg whites. So beat it just until it reaches this stage. Next, I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of lemon extract and a few drops of some concentrated gel food coloring and give this a mix just until it's incorporated. It takes about 15, 20 seconds. And I have my egg whites all ready, so I'm going to switch gears to my dry ingredients now, and it's super important that you sift the dry ingredients first. So I have 200 grams of confectioner's sugar. Drop that into the sifter, and 120 grams of fine almond flour. And I'm going to sift these dry ingredients into a large mixing bowl. And now I'm ready to transfer my egg whites into my dry ingredients. Drop them right on top. And now it's time to fold these together. So this is a really crucial step because if you over mix or under mix, the macaroons won't turn out quite right. So what I like to do is kind of fold from the bottom of the mixing bowl and then flatten the meringue against the side of the bowl. And at the same time, you're trying to get all those dry ingredients incorporated as well. So just kind of fold and flatten, making sure that everything gets combined. And my batter is all ready, and I wanted to show you guys the consistency. So the batter should kind of ribbon off of your spatula and it'll settle back down on itself within about 10 to 15 seconds. You can see it's already kind of spreading itself out. You don't want to overmix, otherwise the batter is going to become too runny. And I have my pastry bag all set up. Today I'm using a simple round tip. This is a Teco tip number 806. I'm going to just set it up in a measuring cup and then transfer my macaron batter into the bag. I've lined two large baking sheets with parchment paper. You can also use silicone mats. And now I'm ready to pipe my macarons onto the parchment paper. I'm gonna pipe about one inch dollops and space them about an inch apart. And as soon as you finish piping your macarons, grab the pan and drop it a few times against your work surface, and this will release any trapped air bubbles in the batter. And if there's still some air bubbles on the surface, grab a toothpick and just get rid of those bubbles. And now my macarons are ready to rest. I'm going to let them stand at room temperature for about an hour until a thin shell or film forms on the outside of them and they should be almost dry to touch. And if you live in a high humidity area, this process might take a little bit longer, up to two hours, or you can also place the tray next to a very light fan and that will help speed up the process. So once they're rested, I'm going to bake them at 315 degrees Fahrenheit for about 17 to 18 minutes and then let them cool completely on the trays and we'll come back to add our lemon buttercream and lemon curd filling. 
I have my macaron shells all cooled and now let's talk about the fillings. So today I'm gonna be using my lemon butter cream. I have a separate video recipe for that. Now that recipe makes a pretty large batch. You only need about a quarter of that recipe. I'm going to include the ingredients up on my website. Um, I'm also gonna be using my homemade lemon curd. Now that recipe also makes a really large batch. You only need about a quarter cup. So for this recipe, you can uh, use some store-bought lemon curd if you don't wanna make your own. And now let's get these filled. I let my macaron shells cool completely and you want them to be completely cooled, otherwise they will melt the buttercream. And I snipped off just a little tip off the, uh, my pastry bag here. And I'm just going to pipe a ring of that buttercream. I'm gonna leave a little, uh, little hole in the center for my lemon curd. And then I'm going to pipe my lemon curd into the center. And then gently sandwich the cookies together. And that's it guys, my triple lemon macarons. Absolutely, I love how these turn out. They look so amazing. For the full recipe, don't forget to head on down into that video description box. I've left a link there that'll take you over to my website. I'll have all the ingredients for the macarons, the buttercream, and the lemon curd. So when you're making these at home, I recommend placing them into an airtight container and then into the refrigerator and allow them to mature for a day, up to three days. And what'll happen is they'll become a lot softer, they'll be chewy, just phenomenal. You guys are gonna thank me later. Now time to dig in and enjoy. I have one here that doesn't have a pear, so this will be perfect to enjoy right now. Mmm. Mm-hmm. These lemon macarons are just, wow, phenomenal. I love, love all that lemon flavor, and I love how the tartness from the buttercream and the lemon curd really help to break up the sweetness from the macaron cookie and makes for one incredible recipe. If you guys love lemons, you have to give this one a try. I just love the combination of the sweet with the sour and all that lemon flavor is just phenomenal. Definitely gonna be one of my favorite recipes ever. For the full recipe, don't forget to head on down into that video description box. I hope you guys enjoyed these lemon cookies at home and I'll see you next time with a new recipe.